In this video, I'm gonna convince you that having a low GPA can actually be a good thing and it can tell a story. Towards the end, I'll even tell you how you can use it to your advantage and tell that story and make a lower GPA a key selling point for your application. The reason I wanted to make this video is because I see a lot of students so focused and stressed about their GPAs as if it's the only thing that matters in university. Unfortunately, that line of thinking, which has been programmed into students, ends up leaving them with no real world skills by the time they graduate. I see many examples of people who finish with a 4.0, but don't really have any real world valuable skills and the only skill they have at that point is like getting into a graduate school with that GPA. But all right, let's get to it. So here's the key idea. Let's say for example, when I hire students to work with me on engineering projects and I'm going through their resumes and I see someone with a lower GPA, my first instinct is, is their GPA low because they're not competent or is their GPA low because they actually chose to do other things such as work on some projects, build some really cool code or do undergraduate research or get involved in clubs and whatnot. So usually if I scan someone's resume and I see if they have a 3.5, for example, or even 3.0 but they have done a lot of really cool projects and have gotten involved in clubs and did things that are for example they designed an antenna or they built a really cool program outside of class versus i see someone who has a 4.0 but has done absolutely nothing i'll be honest i'll admire the student with the lower gpa more because i'll see that that student is smart enough to figure out that grades aren't everything and actually went out of their way to get involved outside of class and work on some cool projects and build some real stuff and this was the case for me for example i graduated my undergrad with a 3.6 not a 4.0 and while initially i was like oh man i wish i had a 4.0. I'm really proud of that 3.6 because when I look at it, it really tells a story. And the story it tells is one, I'm not a genius. I struggle just like everyone else in classes because many times I chose to go do other things such as work on a CubeSat or go build a communication system or go do undergraduate research or go shadow professors or go ask people about what I should do with my life or go play soccer or go get involved in other things. Or I don't know, join like Smash Club. I attended workshops to improve my soft skills and I learned how to make a really nice LinkedIn profile. I attended so many society meetings and and met so many different people who helped me shape my perspective and even helped me decide to switch my major at some point. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying GPA is not important at all. I think having a nice GPA still improves your chances significantly, given that you have the other experiences that support the skills that you're trying to showcase. For example, if you have like a 1.5 GPA, even if you have like really cool projects, I'm still gonna be like, man, like I get it. Like you have done some cool projects, but like, are you not at least smart enough to realize that you need a little higher of a GPA to just get through the system or play the game? That's why anything I ideally above like a 3.0 is a sweet spot. Above 2.5 is okay too, but you'd have to have really good skills and projects that make up for that. All right, let's assume the worst case scenario. Let's assume that you have a low GPA and you have absolutely no skills or projects or anything to show for it. Here's what I would do if I were you. One, I would try to get that GPA up and I would try to do that using less time studying and simply by trying to allocate all the resources you have possible. Try to find friends to study with and reach out to your professors and teaching assistant and see if you can attend their office hours regularly, ask them questions. Reach out to your academic advisor, see if he has any idea about like any tutoring services or support groups on campus. Whatever you do, try to build systems that help you get higher grade using less time. All right, once you have gotten a grip on how to improve that GPA little by little, I would say put all your energy on building those real skills and try to get an internship. Now, I get it, if you have no skills, it's gonna be hard to apply for an internship. So you could do incremental steps along the way, such as try to get involved in undergraduate research, try to email professors and see if anyone can take you, be like, hey, I'm free labor. I'm really interested in the work you're doing and here are some of the skills. I may not have this, but I'm really eager to learn and I'm sure I can do it. And okay, if you can't land like a research position, try to find a club or organization in your campus that's doing something something that's building like a car or a CubeSat or anything and get involved in that and hold a leadership position in that. Try to build something cool with that. Find like a coding or a hacking club. And even if you have absolutely no skills, just go hang out with the people, go do something. Try to build those skills little by little. And you could even just go do some project. If you're working remotely, I know maybe it's hard to meet people now. Try to find some online projects, find some coding challenges. Try to like build Tetris or build like an online game. But whatever it is that you do, you have to show that despite your low GPA, you were able to go out of your way, learn new skills, meet new people. Because if you do all that, and you do get a nice internship and you do end up building really good experience, someone naive like me will look at your resume and be like, wow, this guy's actually super smart. Probably learned enough fundamentals to go and learn the basic skills needed and has some useful skills that I can make good use of. Now, again, just to remind you, I'm not saying GPA is not important at all. It's still important. Getting real skills and experience is more important. In an ideal world, you'd have both. You'd have a 4.0 and you'd have built the greatest app of all time. But because that's not the case for most of us, don't worry about your GPA too much. Build real skills, try to do things that are useful and build your soft skills too. All right, that being said, I'm gonna, you guessed it, play some Rocket League. Peace, love.